Hi everyone, it's Living the Good Life and I have an estate sale finds video for you finally. Um, after a couple of weeks interrupted by a week of bad weather, <clears throat> I have found some things and I want to go ahead and show you what I have. So at one estate sale in the bedroom there was this big cardboard box and it said <clears throat> everything was a you know a dollar a piece. So I got these big eight packs of soap for one dollar a piece that I'm going to go ahead and donate to a, a food bank. So there's three of those dial. Um, the wet ones were free. I forgot to tell you that last time. And I also found a um, an ad. <clears throat> I think it was on Marketplace that said that people were moving and they were putting uh, things out on the curb. So it was a curb alert. I'm going to have to show you the a couple of other things I got uh, in a later video. But I got this cake stand completely for free. I got this, you know, thing to grate cheese for free, and I got a peeler for free. Um, let's go on to, I went to a garage sale. There's not very many of them, um, and this was a Thursday garage sale in a very <clears throat> nice part of town. And I had, I had kind of roamed around, and I had found this first. This is a little trinket box I'll show you that inside it talks about it being for her, um, her majesty Queen Elizabeth's um, 90th birthday and it was four dollars and then you know they had candles the Bath and Body Works candles brand new <clears throat> eight dollars and I'm going they weren't willing to go ahead and budge on anything so I thought oh I hate to walk away from those candles because I love candles but too expensive but then I saw this, and I, okay, I picked it up. Wait a minute, wait a minute, where is it at? Well, and then I found this. Nine, second, the second mark is 925. And then we've got an uh, anchor for Birmingham, uh, the Lion Passant, which says that it's sterling, and then a date mark. And it also has it right here in the middle. So for $2, I got this sterling silver uh, wine coaster. So this is the second one that I have found that is sterling. I found one in a uh, pantry in a Ziploc bag at an estate sale several years ago. And really, really cheap. I think, I, again, I only got it for a couple of dollars. So that's my second bottle coaster. I thought that was fun. Uh, and that was all I got at that garage sale. My friend found some... Department 56, is it? Um, Easter items that she's going to sell. So that's neat. Um, then I uh, was looking in the trash <laughs> at a house clean out uh, that was in my neighborhood. And I found these Spice of Life canisters, which I've washed up. So those were completely free. That was something else I got during the 2020 pandemic when people couldn't, you know, donate anything. Everything was closed. Uh, so I found those. Um, at the same sale where I got the dial, I forgot to mention, I got this. I've tried testing it. I think the remnants of the word sterling are right here. And this says, has um, an L and then 07 it's for 1907. And it's got these um, Lily's, uh, not, what's, what are those called? Snow, snowdrops? What are those? Anyways, very bendy. So for a dollar, I took a chance on it. And I also got this little server. And this has got a sterling handle. And it says it right there. Those were a dollar a piece. Um, went to an estate sale where the company is known to have good prices. But frequently doesn't get their pictures up and very so we just kind of went into this blind had no idea first thing I saw was this Fenton Ruffled hobnail little vase. I don't know what you call it trinket dish um, Five dollars, but and it was marked five dollars, but I grabbed the RS Prussian mustard pot Boy, I, My hand reached out to get that awfully fast there's the RS Pressure Mark, and as you all know, I, I collect a lot of this. Made around 1900 to 1905, and it's a mustard pot. It's got the little spot there for the spoon, but there's no spoon left in there. And I, these are, I like a reflecting floral pattern. 
So that is really fun. So that, this, and the all these little spoons, there was a tub of these spoons. So I went over, found a little corner of the living room, started going through them, and found all the sterling and 800 silver one. And this woman that I know from estate sales comes over and she says, uh, I'll go through them. I go, no, I'm looking through them now. <laughs> You know, no. <laughs> She's known for doing that. That you know, you've got a little tiny container you're going through, but she wants to stick her hand in it too. So, and I understand that people want to go ahead and find a good deal, but you know, I was almost done, so I just laid it down afterward. And I think a man picked it up and was um, gonna buy the whole thing. But I found two of these. Oh, that's kind of dark. Wow, it's still not very good, is it? Anyways, there it is. And this one is, they have marks there. Oh, I can't see anything. It's also Birmingham. There's an anchor mark right in here. So it's Mars. It's got the marks. And there's uh, two of those. Here's one Las Vegas. That one was also marked uh, right here. You can see it all. Here's one here. I think this one was marked 800. Here's another one. Puerto Rico. Let's see if I can find a mark on it. Yeah, it's right here as well on the back. And who knows what this is? I can't remember. Anyways, and then this last one. It's like a Florida kind of thing. So, just to give you an idea again as they're sitting down. That's all of them. So, all of those spoons, the mustard pot, and the Fenton, $8. <laughs> I couldn't say yes fast enough. It was great. Um, went on to a sale, and I had seen these in the pictures. And it said, you know, sterling. You couldn't see the the amounts on them. And I got there and they said $10 a piece. So I went through them and not all of them were sterling. You really had to look. Um, like in this one, it says sterling. It's upside down. Right here. So I went through them all, picked all the sterling ones out. And uh, she was willing to go ahead and deal, so I got the uh, seven spoons for $50 plus tax, which was like $54, which when I weighed these, it, um, and then multiplied for a 80, $23 an ounce, uh, at 80%, it's $58. So I'm, you know, at actual silver cost, it was like 70 something, but at 80%, I'm down to $58 versus 54 paid. So. Here, here is a, a kind of a close-up at some of these. This one's pretty because it has the name Nancy on it. And it's for Chicago. That was pretty. Here's pretty one for Palm Springs. Just a plain one, but really it's got initials right there. Here's a little ladle. This one has a lot of flat floral detail on it. And then just more of a plainer one here. So, hope you enjoyed seeing everything. And I'm hopeful to um, find more sales as it starts getting a little warmer and have something more to show you. Take care, and we're going to love your subscription. Bye-bye.